One Tuesday evening in May, 27-year-old Robert Kibwata was shot by an armed robber just a short distance away from Gulu Town Center. The robbers escaped without the motorbike after Kibwata shouted for help. He was in Gulu Referral Hospital for three weeks before he was discharged. Kibwata now spends his time tending to his tobacco barn at his home in Labora in Koro Sub County. But for tobacco, the process from the farm to the barn, then to the buyer, is tedious. And in addition, the crop is not as paying as Kibwata's border border business. No wonder he's willing to return to riding once he recovers. <laughs> Kibwata's ordeal is a tacit reminder of the violent robberies that rocked the district a few weeks ago, with the main victims being border border riders. Three of his colleagues were left nursing gunshot wounds. People used to stop riding at around 7 p.m. there, but at least nowadays, as the situation is getting calm, people feel like they can extend the time for service to 9 p.m. Every evening, a combined team of police and soldiers converge at Gulu Central Police Station, ready for deployment to patrol the streets. It is such efforts that the district police commander, Dennis Odoj, credits for a number of arrests and recoveries recently. We have taken seven people to court, to Gulu prison, and uh, we have, uh, we have uh, four people in our custody. Uh, in all, uh, five guns have been recovered, and, and I think our operation is, is successful. We still have a list of people we are supposed to follow in other districts. The police have also recovered 11 out of the 15 border border motorcycles that had been stolen. Despite this stride, some shopkeepers are reporting an increase in burglaries, especially those that involve the thieves cutting through the roofs. We hire the security, security guard. They come when, when the security is there. They cut the roof, they enter inside our shop, they do their work. These incidents had scared residents, but police maintains that the situation has been brought under control. There is peace in Gulu, people are moving, and when we are going for our patrol, when we are doing our operation, it is intelligence-led. Early this year, Lera district experienced a similar situation, and the suspicion is that some of the thieves could have migrated to Gulu. Some of them are, are been here. And uh, one of the times when there was some tamarind which was made in Gulu, and some of the names fished are from this area. Of course they move. But they, when they see one area is not fitting for them. Lera is a booming town in terms of business, but you would not have expected to see anything of this magnitude if the security situation that started in January had gone unchecked. This was mainly because many of the people were affected were the business community. You can see now even during the daytime now we are also very peaceful. During that time there, we were even afraid during that time. As people recover from the ordeal, the question on everybody's lips is how a one secure situation degenerated into one where they feel so unsafe. The answer will definitely prevent a reoccurrence in future. Moses Akena, NTV.